Hey guys, Jonathan Graham here. Well, as we get closer to Christmas, we're going to continue with our gift box type theme, bit different boxes, and this one here is, well, from this angle, it looks like an envelope, but it's actually a box that is shaped like an envelope, and it opens up like this. This is from a square sheet of paper, and this just tucks in like that, and that is my envelope shaped, my envelope gift box. This is sort of a shiny paper, so if you have a sort of a rougher paper, it'll kind of the friction will kind of keep it together better, close better. But that is the envelope gift box, and we're going to be using a six-inch square of paper for this. I have a little, a little bit of marks on my paper. Well, it'll work just fine. So what we're going to do is we want to start by dividing this paper into thirds. So the easiest way to do that is just to pick a side and just make an S shape. Our box will be about two inches by one inch when we're finished with a six inch square. And we're going to divide this evenly into thirds as much as we can. Pinch them really hard and then open it. They'll simply fold across the paper. Fold the two sides over each other. Next we're going to go the other direction. So we're going to take it the other way now. and make another S fold here. And again, we're gonna divide these edges up nice and give them a little pinch. Make an S fold there and that's our thirds the other direction. Now, we're gonna open this up you can see we've got our 3 by 3 grid, these are just little stains here, but anyway. We're going to now fold the sides, we'll go with this side here. Fold it to the third mark to make one, fold in a sixth essentially. And now we're going to fold this edge to this one, so I'm just going to turn it this way so I can see. And I can fold it in nice and straight, like that. Now I'm just going to refold on the third to reinforce the creases on the corners here, on the double layered part. Now I'm going to fold this in half. We're going to divide this whole rectangle into sixths. So we're going to fold in half first. Unfold. Fold this to here. Unfold it. And then this one up top, this one to here. I'm going to turn it around so you can see better. This one to the third crease right there. We've now divided our, rect our this rectangle here essentially into six sections. And now to make the box, we're gonna, you can see if we look at the bottom here, this is one two-sixths of our paper, one-third. This is like a square. We're going to make a diagonal valley fold right here and right here. So the way to do that is to bring this edge to this blue edge. And make your crease going from this point to right there, two sections over. Unfold. So it's essentially going from there to the edge. And now again, we're going to fold it this way, line up the blue to the blue, and crease from this point. So basically you're creasing diagonally one, two sections. And unfold. And now we're just going to make another quick pre-crease to make this assembly a little easier. We're going to flip this over, keeping the square at the, the X on the bottom, and we're going to make crease right here, crease right here, this will be the bottom of our box, so one, two up, we're going to make a, di a valley fold here and here, so I'm just going to line up the edges, on the ends here, we're just folding this square on the end, there, and now we're going to flip this over, and now we're, this is kind of a fun step, we're going to fold this over on the diagonal crease, letting this side sort of come like this, come together like that. And we're going to do the same on the other side. We're going to fold it down on the creases, making this triangle. From the back, it'll kind of look like this. Make sure these line up well. This is going to become the front of our box right here. And now to latch these two together, we're going to just take the layer here and just overlap the layers, just like that. And now when it comes down like that, it should stay fairly secure. And now this little triangle, we're simply going to fold up on the edge really sharply. And now this is actually the front of our 
little envelope shaped box. And now to, we're almost done, now to finish it off we're, we're going to use these diagonal creases and we're going to just pull the sides in and collapse on those diagonal creases that we made and that will make the base of the box. And um, this will be our lid here. Now to make the envelope we're just going to take this and fold it down on the existing crease. We're now going to take this corner and fold it to the center. So like you're folding a paper airplane. You're just going to do like a paper airplane fold like that. And now we're going to take this point, all these layers, and fold it to this part, this edge right here. Right where the edge of these pieces, are, papers are. So we're just going to bring it down and crease this really, really sharply. Now we're going to kind of do what's called it. I'm going to actually reverse that crease if you want. Just make the next step a little easier if we reverse it a few times. Now we're going to do what I, is kind of like a sink fold. So we'll, again, open it like this. And now from the in, we're going to lift up the innermost layer. And you can see the creases here. You're going to push this in, all these layers, inside. And you can see it kind of makes a rectangle. You're just going to kind of sink fold that inside and so when you're done you have this sort of little bit of almost a pocket here so you make sure it's really flat and now we're almost there actually we're almost done now so this will be our lid right here so if I fold this back you'll see how this is our lid of our box and then I'm going to fold it over a few times on the crease just to make it more permanent now to make the last part, we're just going to fold this down on the crease right there. Crease this really sharply. And now that's pretty much it. Now see this little pocket here? Right there. This point will tuck into that pocket. So we fold this lid down. You're going to tuck the point into that pocket. And then you, can, you might want to kind of crease the sides here. So it stays closed and at the top here. And there you have your envelope gift box. You can see how from the front side it looks like an envelope, the way that the design is. But actually, it's a little box. Opens up. Not too difficult to make, good for really any time, especially now with Christmas coming up. This would be a great way to wrap a gift. You can make them any size you want. Um, hope you're able to make that one. Please remember to like, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.